I absolutely love Planet Zoo. I love creating, designing. I love bringing in animals and caring for them. Um, the music of this game is, is spectacular. But I'm going to admit, getting started with this game from the beginning was a challenge. Uh, all of these different informational screens, uh, the user interface is good, but it's just a lot of information to process and to digest. Um, and, and I struggled for quite a while with getting started. Uh, the in-game tutorial, once I actually got more familiar with the game, then the tutorial became uh, a great source of information. But from the outset, I had a challenge with, with the tutorial. So what I want to do is I want to start from the very beginning. I want to create a zoo. I want to use just the tools necessary, just the screens, just the just the, the, the portion of the UI that you need to get a basic zoo going in the hopes that if I can just help one person get into this amazing, wonderful game, uh, then, then this, this will be well worth it. That's what I want to do. It's not going to be a beautiful zoo, not, you know, not a lot of plants and trees and things of that nature, just, just the absolute basics. But I want to help you get started so that from there, then you can uh, carry on creating your zoo. You can use the tutorial. But once again, if I can just help somebody get started with designing and putting together the basics of a zoo, then this video would have been well worth it. And then I want to do a, some shorter videos with some additional tips and strategies. But that's what we're going to do. Um, even if you're not looking to learn how to play Planet Zoo, but you just want to hang out and enjoy the scenery and the music, um, you're welcome to hang out with me um, as, as we play. It's going to be a lot of fun. We're going to listen to some good music and we're going to design a zoo. So you're welcome to, to hang out and let's get started. So the first thing that I want to do is let's get started. I want to go with challenge mode, challenge and franchise. The big difference is challenge is offline, franchise is online. But I want to pick a climate that is beginner friendly. So let's go to new zoo. We'll go to temperate and we're going to go Europe. We're just going to stick with medium difficulty, flat terrain. And let's call this a tutorial temperate zoo. So I picked this particular climate because I find that it's a good temperature range for the majority of the animals that we're going to be using. Um, yes, you're going to have rain, you're going to have snow, but not as much, I find, as when you do temperate North America. Um, so that's the reason why I picked it. You can pick any climate that you want, but if we're being extremely beginner friendly, I'm, I went with temperate and Europe. All right, we are at our zoo. Let's go ahead and right-hand side, let's pause. So the, one, the first thing we need to do, let's come over here. You'll see this is a heat map. It's not labeled until you put your cursor over it. So click on that. There are only two things that we're going to be using. Power and negative impact on guests. So let's look at power. So the entrance to the zoo, everything within this blue radius is already going to be powered. So we want to focus on keeping our early portion of the zoo within that particular area. So let's get started. Let's come down. Let's go to path. You can set the path width to whatever you want it to be. Uh, my path is 23 feet wide. Let's come over here now. As you can see, it, 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 can, it can be a bit tricky. If you are having challenges with the path, 
one thing that you can do is you can go to align to grid when you click on align to grid see how much easier it is to create a path so always keep that in mind you can use align to grid let's come down from normal path to staff path Come over here and let's go in this direction. Oops. Excellent. So now we've got a path for the guests. We have our staff path. Let's go over a couple of basic camera controls just in case you don't know. W forward, S, backwards, A, left, D, right, but I'm assuming most people know this, um, mouse wheel, back and forth, right click on the mouse, and holding down the scroll wheel. While we're at it, now I'm going W. You can also Q, down, E, up. So E is up, Q is down, W. Let's click on a turnstile. Let's go ahead and set the admission price so that we don't forget. And then the other thing, so that we're not playing in the dark Let's set the time of the zoo to here. And it's really hard to get it exactly. You know, it doesn't have to be right, but I'm doing, let's open the zoo right around eight. Close the zoo, 8 p.m. Let's come back out. All right, wonderful. Now, we need staff and we need buildings for the staff. So, come over to Zoo. See where it says staff? You do not need a full staff at this time. You need a caretaker. A caretaker is going to keep the zoo clean. Let's come back to Zoo. We need a keeper. The keeper is going to keep the animal areas clean and feed the animals. Let's go to a mechanic who is going to fix things for us and a vet. That's all you need. They're floating in the air. Let's go ahead and hit play just long enough for them to stop floating. Wonderful. Now. Let's get some buildings down for our staff. And I'm going to put the buildings over here. So we need facilities. Let's go to facilities. Over here, staff facilities. And to make things even cleaner, let's go over to blueprints. Turn off blueprints. These seven buildings are the buildings that we're going to need in the early game. We're not going to need all of them immediately, but let's go ahead and start placing them. Let's work our way from left to right. So let's start with the Animal Trade Center. And what I like, when you already have the path, see how it wants to go ahead and create a connection? That's good. Let's do right about here. Editing group, let's exit out of that. Now, before we place anything else, let's go back to the heat map. Let's go on negative impact. You may have to zoom in. See the path where the people are going to be walking? 
and there is so we want to kind of stay we're going to go in this direction we don't want to get too close we don't want a negative impact on our guests let's add a bit more path here align to grid because it's easier that way facilities we've already put down the trade center let's put down a keeper hut if it's blue that's a good sign if it's not going to work it'll be red let's do quarantine Search. Let's do this. Let's do Z to rotate. First, let's exit out because it wants to attach it to that editing group. Z to rotate. Wonderful. Staff room. Vet. and the workshop. Let's put it over here. Let's exit. We're going to need Z to rotate. We now have our seven buildings. Let's take a look at the heat map again. See that they're over there. So we're going to avoid that area as far as our guests are concerned. Let's come over here. Path. Let's do the guest path. Let's align to grid. Let's just come out a couple of spots here. Excellent. Now, let's come over to facilities again. Let's go back to all over here where it says animal exhibit. We want this smaller exhibit. Let's put an exhibit right there. Let's change this portion of the path to staff. Let's go back to facilities. Let's do all. Right here, Exhibit Education Board. Let's click on that. Z, if we need to rotate it. We need another one. Z to rotate. While we're in Facilities, Let's go ahead, you see the donation box. This is how we're going to make funds. Let's put a donation box here. Let's put one here. Very good. Now, a new tab. Exhibit trading. So these are animals that can be put into an exhibit. What we want to do is we want an animal that is going to be desirable to look at. So of all the things that we want to start out with, 
we want a very high score so there's going to be some that maybe I want the score to be at least 1,000 fortunately it looks like all of these but the other thing that you can do click on appeal here is a green iguana very high score let's click on the green iguana and I like that it has very good longevity so that would not be a bad acquisition we have a boa constrictor for similar a little bit less conservation points conservation points think of those I don't want to get too deep into conservation points, but you can earn conservation points. You can spend them on on animals. I think I like the fact that these conservation, uh, it's a little bit less. But I like the longevity. Let's, let's go ahead. It's 85. Let's go ahead and get the green iguana. You can click on Zoopedia if you want to get information about the iguana. It's going to be important to keep in mind that the iguana is going to need a temperature between 79 and 88, humidity between 50 and 60. So let's go ahead and adopt the green iguana then we want to come down to the storage select the iguana send to zoo click wonderful now remember our temperature range and our humidity range so let's go let's we clicked on so let's let me click off of it so we can do it again together click on it over here climate and we are already where we need to be wonderful now we are going to need to work on the layout our layout is only 40 percent where we need it to be so we'll work on that sh shortly let's click on this green iguana so that the guests can read up on the green iguana click on this one green iguana let's go back to facilities educational speaker let's put it right here on the ground okay close out click on the speaker green iguana we can set the range we don't need it how about right about there so anybody in this range is going to hear the speaker talk about the green iguana now as I said remember we have got to get the layout taken care of so let's go to zoo right below staff let's go to vet research there's our vet, Laura. There's the green iguana. Let's hold down on Laura. Move it over to the green iguana. And Laura will start doing research. Let's go ahead and hit play. Come some guests. Now, while they're coming in, let's let's take a look. Lower left, you see your smiley face. So you hover over the smiley face, and it's going to show you that they're coming in. They're happy. They've got energy. 
Um, as of right now, they do not need to go to the restroom, but we will need to address that. But we do need to take care of their need for hunger, thirst, and education. So let's come over here in this corner. Let's pause. Let's go back to facilities. Let's come over to guest facilities. Let's start with finance. Let's give them an ATM machine. Let's put it here. Let's click on drink. We do not want a, a stand with an employee. Let's stick to a vending machine. Let's click on food, vending machine. Let's expensive to operate. When the guests are coming into the zoo, let's give them something to, to look at, to learn from. Let's go back to facilities. Let's do all. You see the conservation education board. Z to rotate. Let's put one a little bit crooked. Let's put one there. Let's do another one. Let's rotate. And another one. It's a little crooked, but it's okay. We just got a notification. Vet research is complete. Let's click on it. Excellent. So we have completed some research. Let's let the research continue, but let's click on... Let's go to layout. And we have unlocked some enrichment levels. So what do we want? Do we want a long, wide trunk? Do we want smooth branch? Whatever you want, you can click it. Excellent. We just jumped from 40 to 60%. I saw some people throw some money. Look at that, they're throwing money into the donation box. $164. How about over here? $184. Wonderful. Let's click on the board here. And let's do amphibian extinction crisis. Let's click on this board. And let's do bee population decline. Let's click on this board. Deforestation. Click here. Let's do ecotourism. Wonderful. See, look, they've already stopped to read the board. It's a little crooked, but that's okay. And that's going to help us with our education rating. Let's pause. So up until now, we have looked at the power, the negative impact on the guests. With Zoo, the only thing that we've looked at, we've looked at the staff for, for hiring purposes. We've looked at the vet research. Exhibit. We have done this tab to pick an animal, this tab to send the animal to its home. We have not done anything over here yet except for facilities. As far as animal exhibits, we've done guest facilities and we've done staff. We've worked on paths for guests and for staff. We've paused and played. 
over here here's your dollar amount you can click on it and you'll see we are right now we're in the green so we're making some money this is going to fluctuate but this is what we're spending and this is what we're bringing in smiley face shows where we stand we've got some work to do but we'll get there now instead of exhibit let's click on animal trading when we're looking at animals it is so important i know that the temptation to get a elephant a giraffe uh, a lion a tiger i know that is a strong desire we do not want a big animal right now that's more care we do not want a predator food is more expensive for a predator here is an aardvark now when you get to animals like this it is so important that they've got good immunity don't fall for the immunity when when it's in the red let's keep looking here is a giant tortoise now it's small but look everything else is wonderful now here's my question does this tortoise need company does it need an extra tortoise let's click on zoopedia the timer we've got about a minute to make a decision solitary wonderful let's go back to market so what happens is there's a timer when this time runs out this this tortoise will no longer be available except for its size everything is in the green this is wonderful um, I would rather pay cash for it instead of conservation points but let's go ahead and get it over here to the left Zoopedia more than likely the last thing that you looked at is what's going to show up so here's our tortoise what I need to know is the habitat so this tortoise needs an area of 2,475 square feet, no water requirements, a grade one fence, doesn't have to be very tall, so it doesn't sound like this tortoise can really get out of the area. So let's put together a area that's at least 2,470 five let's go now let's go to barriers let's just do red brick the resistance is much higher than what we need but that'll be okay so let's start let's click this See, it's red when it's on the path, but once you get it into the grassy area. Barriers can be a bit tricky, but let's lay this out. We're not going for style points. Let's go to path. Staff. Let's run us that. Let's go to barrier. Let's click on gates. This first gate, the habitat gate, is what I want. Let's put it right around here. Let's close out. So only the keeper will walk on this area. Actually, no, let's change it. So path. 
There. Perfect. Let's click on the door or on the anywhere, but let's click on here. Let's go to terrain. And we are well over. Let's see if we can conserve some space. Barriers. Let's click on this barrier. Delete it. Click on this one. Delete it. Click on this one. Delete it. Let's connect this. Now let's see what this area is. That's that's perfect. That's just a bit over what we need. So maybe we can put another exhibit or something here. I want the people to be able to see the, the animal. Let's click on barriers. Let's click on this portion of the barrier. Let's click here and then come down to glass. Let's click here. Glass. Glass and glass. Now we're going to click on a new tab, Habitat. From Habitat, let's go to Filter, Species. Do you remember which animal we've got? We've got the tortoise. We know we need water. Go ahead and get the water pipe instead of the, the water bowl costs a little more but it's just going to save you from having to remember to place it you want to put things close to the glass so people can see it so we need that we do need for food let's get a small food bowl food tray close to the glass so people can watch the animal eat i do need a shelter doesn't have to be huge let's get that's too big. Uh, let's just stick with this one. Let's put it over here. Let's give the animal a little bit of privacy. Let's grab some bedding. I know we're going to need it. See the heater? Let's get the heater. We're, we're going to need it. Let's put the heater. One heater. Let's put it in the middle. That may or may not cover this area. Those are the basics. Let's go back to our animal trading. Now let's go here. Let's select our tortoise. Send to zoo and click inside. Eventually, a keeper is going to bring animal looks like we've unlocked let's education let's claim our reward wonderful vet research complete here he comes Gonna drop off our animal. Yeah. And we're going to pause.